Okay, let's take a look at one last Poisson example. Pepe Delgado's, the best restaurant in Norman, estimates that if one employee is taking orders, an average of 5.4 potential customers leave the restaurant per hour without ordering. That is, they balk because the line is too long. If two employees are taking orders, the number of balking customers reduces to an average of 3.2 potential customers leaving the restaurant per hour. Assume that the restaurant loses $10 in revenue for each customer that balks. What's the probability that Pepe's loses 100 or more dollars in two hours for each staffing situation? Okay, so let's think about uh, one uh, employee taking orders. And let's address this first. Okay. Uh, actually, first what we want to do is think about uh, the probability that we're going to lose 100 or more in revenue in two hours. Okay. For every customer that balks, let, let's say we lose $10 in revenue. So that says that to lose 100, we would need to have 10 customers leave. 10 customers are balking in an in any time period to lose $100 in revenue, okay? So if we want to lose more than 100, we don't want to lose more than 100, but if we're trying to find the probability that we lose more than $100 in revenue uh, in a two hour period, that means that more than 10 customers would have to leave, would have to balk in a two hour time period, okay? Uh, so as it turns out, if one are taking orders, that means the rate of balking customers, the rate of customers leaving without ordering, was 5.4 customers per hour. Okay? But we want to answer a question about two hours. So we're going to say uh, that would be uh, 10.8 customers in two hours. Okay? And let's name a random variable. Uh, let's call it x. And that's the number of uh, balking customers in two hours, okay? And so we want to know what's the probability that we lose $100 of revenue, that is 10 customers or more leave in two hours, okay? So what's the probability that X is greater than or equal to 10, okay? If X is greater than or equal to 10, that means that we lose 100 or more in revenue in two hours, okay? So let's calculate what that would be. That would be the probability that x equals 10 plus the probability that x equals 11 all the way up to infinity, okay? Or we could take the complement of this. The complement of this would be 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 9, okay? So this is 1 minus the probability that uh, x is 0 plus the probability that x is 1, all the way up to the probability that x is 9. Okay? That would be 1 minus, let's implement the Poisson uh, distribution equation here. That is our rate, 10.8, to the 0, e to the minus 10.8, divided by 0 factorial. That gives us the probability that x takes on the value 0. Or we want the probability that x equals 1, 10.8 to the 1, e to the minus 10.8 divided by 1 factorial. And we're going to wave our hands at this. You could do this at home, okay? Uh, do this some Friday night when you got nothing else to do. Calculate all this out. Uh, we'll end here, though, with 10.9, uh, pardon me, 10.8 to the 9, e to the minus 10.8 divided by 9 factorial. Okay? So if we were to work this out, as it turns out, this is a pretty straightforward calculation, just arithmetic, nothing crazy. Uh, we get 1 minus uh, 0.3626 or 0.6374. Okay? So what does this say? This says that if we have one person taking orders, the probability that 10 or more people balk in the next two hours, 0.6374. That is, if we have one person taking orders, 64 or so percent of the time, uh, 10 or more people are going to balk in two hours. We're going to lose more than $100 in revenue in two hours, 64% uh, of the time, if we only have one person taking orders. But now let's think about two people taking orders. Okay, two employees.
taking orders. Okay, what was our rate lambda whenever we had uh, two employees taking orders? It was 3.2 customers leave in an hour. Okay, so it drops from 5.4 per hour to 3.2 per hour. But we wanted to know this in terms of two hours, so that would be 6.4 customers leave in two hours. Okay, and so let's name a random variable y. That's the number of walking customers in two hours uh, with uh, two employees taking orders. Okay, so uh, same kind of setup. We want to know what's the probability that y is greater than or equal to 10. Okay, what's the probability that we lose a hundred or more dollars in revenue in two hours? That's the probability that 10 or more customers leave uh, bulk in the next two hours. Okay, that's the probability that y equals 10 plus and so on up to infinity. Okay, we ain't got time for that. So we're going to calculate the uh, complement. What's the complement of this? One minus the probability that y is less than or equal to nine. Okay, that is one minus the probability that y equals zero all the way to the probability that y equals nine. Okay. That is one minus, uh, let's do this one first. That's 6.4 to the zero, e to the minus 6.4 over zero factorial. And all this in between, 6.4 to the nine, e to the minus 6.4 divided by nine factorial. Okay, if we work that out, very straightforward to do, not a big deal, that's one minus 0.8858 which is equal to 1.1142. Okay, so let's see what happened here. We had one uh, employee taking orders. We saw that 5.4 people balk in an hour. They go up, the line is too long, okay? They say, I'm out of here, I'm gonna go eat next door, I'm gonna have food that's not as good, but I just don't have time, okay? They leave at a rate of 5.4 uh, per hour without ordering food. If we have two employees taking orders, they leave at a lesser rate, okay? That line isn't as long. They leave at 3.2 uh, per hour, 3.2 balking customers per hour. So what's the probability that we lose 100 or more in revenue in two hours with one, with one employee taking orders? 63, 64% of the time. With two people taking orders, about 11% of the time. Okay, so just by adding one more person taking orders, we reduce the probability <clears throat> of losing 100 or more in revenue in two hours from 64.64 to 0.11. Okay, and you can do this kind of analysis uh, in a lot of different situations. If you know how many people uh, should be taking orders uh, from people standing in line, and if you can estimate this kind of rate uh, for different numbers of employees taking orders, then you can calculate this probability of losing some amount of money, okay? Those are very important calculations for a lot of engineering contexts.